Hi, we're the Malcolms. All right, welcome to our action. <laughs> I know you're gonna be out of I'll do it. I'm just really excited about this. Yo. <laughs> All right, welcome to our action. <laughs> Rocky is here with us. You'll hear him. You'll hear him. A lot. A lot. So, as you know, we recently got back from a road trip, and on that road trip, we visited some of my family, and we just realized that we were missing out on some good. It's Rocky. <laughs> on some good food and so we are partnering today with chow bus and we are super excited all this came from chow bus and we are excited to share it with you yeah, yeah. but not you chow bus is a food delivery service they focus on hand-picked asian cuisine and they have restaurant bundling pre-ordering and we are super excited to eat this thank you chow bus for sponsoring this video and yeah, Rocky's thankful too. And if you want to try out some exclusive mom and pop shops and get food delivered to you or groceries or pickup, feel free to download Chow Bus and use our code KYLEAMY10 for $10 off your first order. So with that being said, let's eat. <laughs> We're hungry. This looks so good. Yeah, you can't have any. Oh, he bashed me. Like ran into your foot? I don't even know. So, I don't even know how I'm supposed to eat this. It's so big. Like with, like with a fork? We can do it. Should we do forks? Yeah, why not? <laughs> hey man, if you're gonna be barking throughout the whole video, that's gonna be really funny. So we've got some sushi and some Vietnamese food. We got back a while ago and we're still getting settled and working on vlogs. So we still even have a vlog from before our trip that needs to go out. This is really good. Rocky loves it. You're gonna like that. So let's see, what was your favorite part of the trip? I didn't know you were going to be after me. I don't know. Uh, the escape room was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the family reunion. Yeah, I think I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed all of it. As of now, it's Saturday the 31st, and we have posted our skydiving, zip lining, cave swimming, and to- That was all one thing. No, they're all different videos. So there's no such thing as skydiving, ziplining, <laughs> cave swimming. Because I would totally do that. So we have those three videos and then we have two salt flat preview videos. And we still have our Whidbey Island travel diary from before our trip. And so next is probably <laughs> the, this video. And the salt flats might be either before or after this. And then we'll have our Whidbey Island vlog, and that was before our actual road trip. Then we have our Chelan Day vlog, our zip lining and Spokane vlog, our crater swimming family reunion vlog, and then our just kind of trip home vlog. And so the travel videos, the travel diaries, those are just short videos that really highlight like the experiences we had, and then the vlogs are more of a traditional vlog in a sense. And Kyle says, yeah. Yes. He stopped barking. <laughs> Probably because I stopped talking so he knows I'm actually eating. He gets really upset if there's food out and you don't start eating. So when he's with us and we have food, like we need to sit down and eat. Otherwise he'll just start barking at one of us. Right now our housemates are gone so we're not worried about it. But when our housemates are here, we're just... Mm. We, <laughs> we try to be really respectful and not have a dog barking. Hello! 
No, don't give him a carrot. That's poisonous. No, it's not. It's good for him. Yeah, it's called poisonous. So, since coming back, Kyle's actually been working super hard. He's worked two Saturdays in a row now, which is no fun. I actually really like this, too. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to try that one anymore because this was so good. Yep. Yep. They just made it into a big burrito instead of... Mm. And that's another thing about Chow Bus is this is a good amount of food and if we don't finish it all we're actually going to take the leftovers to my brother and dad tomorrow because this is something that they'd be super excited about and so I'm excited to share this experience with them. We, we are excited. And he just got a haircut today so we will show how handsome you are in just a minute. Yeah, I'm telling him about your haircut. Yeah, is there anything you want to tell them? He is getting older, and so he is slowing down a bit, but I don't really believe it the same way everyone else does because whenever he goes out potty with me, he is ready to sniff up the neighborhood. And so what happened the other day? Was it Friday? Friday morning? Yes. Yes, it took me a second to know what you were talking about. Friday, we don't work. We don't have our jobs on those days. Woohoo! Woohoo! I like, I don't even know what time. Like, seven. seven. Rocky just could not hold still. Every two seconds, he would lay down. Two seconds later, get up and walk on us. Or My back hurt from him walking on me. This Normally, went, it feels good. This went on for like 10, 15 minutes. Just had one really loud bark that woke us up and <clears throat> to make sure, like. Alright. So Amy took him out. You took him out the first time. I took him out the first time. We came back and then he calmed down for five minutes, if that. I'm gonna say like 30 seconds. And then did it all again. Mm -hmm. And then Amy took him out and they were gone for like 10 minutes. Because I knew Kyle had to work Saturday, two Saturdays in a row, and so this was like his only chance to sleep in. And so I really wanted him to be able to sleep in and it was our housemates were being really quiet, so it was like the perfect opportunity. <laughs> except for this dog and so I take him out to go potty and a lot of the time when he goes potty with like Kyle I feel like he just goes out there pees and comes back in at least recently we have a fairly good sized backyard and so I took him out and he had to sniff around everything we have a bunny highway in our backyard and he, I thought I was gonna lose him through the hedge he went to the neighbor's yard to our front yard and then across the street and I had to like pick him up and say, okay, well, we're going inside because I was literally just wearing a bathrobe and it's like 7.30 in the morning and I'm walking around the neighborhood with this little dog. Who needed a haircut at the time. Yes. But now he got it. And so I come back in and he's just still so restless that basically I told myself two more barks and I'm going to take him on a walk so Kyle can rest. I end up taking him on a walk. You have to understand that how many walks do you think he's had in like the past two months? Other than yesterday's? Yes. Uh, one. Yeah. A good walk for him is like around the block. Then he's slow. Oh, he's so slow. He wants to sniff and pee on everything. And it takes like... And he does not like it when you pull on that leash. It takes like 30 minutes to get to the end of the street. And that morning, I had to like hold him back at the street so he would not go and like get run down. I'm like, who is this dog? And again, I had to literally pick him up and walk him home, carrying him because he would not stop. And he is an older dog. And so he can't really take, like he's gonna get sore. <laughs> and so like, he's fine with me. He walks home, I carry him down the stairs, but like, he's not happy. He did not want to come home. So I bring him inside, I like, go to the bathroom and I come back, Kyle's up and Rocky is laying on his side on the cool kitchen floor, like panting like he's, like he's dead. He's dead. Like he's dead. And I'm like, he is such a player. Because he was like, I had to pick him up and say, we're going home. No, put me in coach, put me in, I can keep going. <laughs> and so for as soon as like I'm gone and Kyle's the one around to be like, oh, it was just really, really silly. So that is our story of Rocky. One of our mini. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite so far? Um, I really like this egg roll. Mm -hmm. This is also very good. Um, I thought you might like the chicken. Rocky likes the chicken. What do you think of this? Um, it's different. Mm -hmm. 
It's good. But it's different. Oh. It takes you a minute to wrap your head around things. Yeah. Uh, so when we were with um, visiting my family on our trip, oh my goodness, I did not realize how much I missed that cooking. It was so good. Like, I still, like, we still talk about it. Like, the Safeway donuts? No. Yeah, those, those were incredible. But it was just, it was so, so good. And, you know, people ask, like, if we cook Vietnamese food or, like, my parents do. And my parents do, but I don't feel like we ever do. And I feel like the main reason is A, we don't buy a lot of meat, but also good yeah. traditional food takes so long to prepare. And so something like chow bus was kind of fun yeah. to be able to have a meal like this at home. And I actually came like, it was still hot, like everything's still crispy and I was really impressed. Woohoo! He licked my toe. <laughs> <laughs> toe liquor. <laughs> He can't even stay still down there. Like, normally when we eat, he just like will lay down or just like stick a spot and sit. And he's like all over the place. Hmm, what do you think of this? I like it. Yeah, I would. I debated what flavors to get, but I decided I was gonna go with what I liked. That was a spicy broccoli I ate. <laughs> I did have one that had a little kick and I was like, mm -mm. Kyle's not gonna eat vegetables ever again. <laughs> How about you? Are you going to eat his veggies? Would you like some carrot? Not this spicy. But can you have a carrot? Mmm. What was your favorite part of the road trip? <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh, he licked my toe again. <laughs> Why is he licking my toe? Um. What was your favorite part of the road trip? It's going to sound really weird. I really loved sleeping in the car with you. Oh my God, that's really weird. I loved that we didn't like have a place to be. We didn't have to worry about like leaving our stuff behind, making sure we packed everything. You know, when we were ready to go to bed, we'd find a spot for the night. We'd put up the curtains, lay down, and then we would like leave when we want. We didn't have any checkout times or check-in times that were stressful. And well, at least in terms of the car sleeping for the reunion, there was that. I don't know, you constantly woke up and was like, let's go. We got stuff to do. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Yeah? Yeah. That's what you were saying. Oh, I don't know. If you didn't say those exact words, your tone implied it. Come oh, man, it's 8 o'clock. Let's get moving. Well, we had some projects that we needed to complete. And we also had things that we had paid for and signed up for. And Kyle takes five billion years to wake up and get moving. It takes a long time to look this good. I'm gonna just wake up and look this good. Yes you do. I know, it takes a long time to wake up. But once I'm awake, I look really good. <laughs> What's your morning routine? Um. You wake up, you roll over, watch some YouTube. Watch some funny internet videos. I try to sneak out of the room before you notice. How far do you get? Halfway closing the door behind me. Ever since day one, I can't go more than like <laughs> 10 minutes. Like 10 minutes of Kyle being gone, I just automatically wake up. I don't even realize it until like I'll come and find him. Like there were times where he couldn't sleep and so he'd be, he'd get up and like wash dishes or whatever and I'd be like, how long have you been up? And Two minutes. <laughs> So, it's just silly. Mm-hmm, really silly. But yeah, I really liked sleeping in the van with you. You can run away. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kyle, get Come here, Popeye. He's real. Yee. Thank you, Chow Bus. For sponsoring this video. Rocky and us. Ow. <laughs> really enjoyed the food, and we are going to continue to eat this, and if you want to learn more about Chow Bus or use our code, everything will be in the description below. Thank you for watching and check out our vlogs and travel diaries that we talked about. Until next time. <laughs> Good time, Malcolms. Good time, Malcolms. Good time, Malcolms. Good time, Malcolms. the laws. I'm over here, gotta get across. Whether you like it, like it or not